What's good in the hood, ladies and gentlemen? That was a cool quip for my friend Zed. How's it going, everybody? My name is JT the Talking Head. I am here with a mountain, three giant stacks of new physical media that I have collected, uh, be it from thrift stores or pawn shops or my record store or ordering online or a bunch of gifts because October was my birthday month that I have gotten over the last two months, September and October. Uh, it is now November as I'm currently recording this. And uh, I just wanted to do a huge collection update. I couldn't really pull everything that I've gotten for the past few months since the strike has been on. Because if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't talked about any new studio releases at all since the strike uh, has been going on. I've only been doing boutique labels because the way I saw it is with physical media. Uh, a, people out on YouTube and TikTok still need people to review releases. So as a consumer, they know if they should buy something or not. And B, uh, boutique labels weren't on strike. I felt like personally, um, they, they really couldn't afford to take a hit of word of mouth being stopped talking about them. Um, so I stopped talking about studio stuff, anything that came out from, you know, your big studios, Warner brothers, Sony, uh, Paramount, all that. I stopped talking about all that stuff on my YouTube and my TikTok and focus just solely on boutique. And I gotta say, I think for the most part, I'll probably keep my channel boutique centered unless there's like a really cool new studio release that comes out but i've never really been the one to really talk about the uh the brand newest releases of absolutely everything anyway so yeah um but i've got three stacks here let's go ahead and jump into it i want to start with all the stuff that i picked up that was free now when i say free i mean some of this stuff was uh uh, giveaway wins um which i think only only really one thing was a giveaway win and some of it was a um like uh, just a bunch of birthday gifts from my friends uh my tiktok mutuals and and followers over there got, got me a couple things off my amazon wish list um i'm gonna dig into it there's a there's a huge stack from one person in particular and i'm gonna kind of explain uh everything that she sent me and why she sent it to me uh, so let's start first with my good friend, Drewby's Doobies Movies, uh, co-host of Masters of Matinee um, with me. Uh, he sent me Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Uh, this was a giveaway win from him, actually. Uh, I, I entered a giveaway from him on TikTok and won Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Also from Drewby's Doobies Movies, he sent me two movies off my wish list for my birthday, and uh, yeah, so he sent me Alien on 4K, which uh, has been on my wish list for a long time. I don't know why I never pulled the trigger on it, but he was like, I'm gonna make you get Alien on 4K because it's great. The scan's great. So thank you, Drew. And Starman on Blu ray from Shout Factory, Scream Factory. Uh, this uh, is, I love Jeff Bridges. I've never seen this. So thank you, Drew, for the giveaway win and also the great birthday presents. I'm going to link Drew. I'm going to link everybody who sent me something. I'm going to link their TikTok in the description below. Go follow them on TikTok. They are all great creators, and I love them dearly. Next up is another giveaway win. I won War Horse 1 with uh, Johnny Strong and Athena Derner from uh, Bob's Movie Review. I think that's the name of the TikTok channel giveaway that I entered. And uh, yeah, I won it. They sent it to me. It's from uh, Wellf, Wellgo USA. Uh, go follow Bob. Next is a, uh, there's a, there's a little bit of a backstory. So these are all from my good friend, Cinema Chris, who you guys should all be following on TikTok. Chris is an amazing creator. Um, he, I had bought a couple things from him. He, he picked up a couple things at his Walmart that I didn't have and sent them to me and I paid him for them which we'll get to later in this video, but he was like, Hey, I've got a bunch of these DVDs in my, um, there are a bunch of horror DVDs in my like giveaway bin. He sent me pictures. He's like, do you want any of these? I'll send them with whatever you bought. And I was like, sure. So he sent me your next, uh, see no evil and see no evil two, Uh, and then to round out my Texas chainsaw, uh, collection, Texas chainsaw 3d, and Leatherface 
but then Chris also sent me a birthday gift off my wish list. He sent me the Grindhouse double feature, Death Proof and Planet Terror. Absolutely love uh, that double feature, and I love Chris to death. Uh, go follow him. Next up is another birthday gift off my wish list from my good friend on TikTok, the Anxious Hobbit. Go follow Anxious Hobbit. She makes fantastic content. She's such a sweetheart. She picked me up Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny right off my wish list. Thank you, Hobbit. All right, so these were all sent to me for free, not necessarily for my birthday, uh, but by my good friend, Anna Avocado Antics. She is my very sweet, close friend um, that I met on TikTok. Love Anna to death. Uh, she has this thing where she likes to go to her library. Her library has really good sales on movies and she'll go and buy them and watch them. And uh, and then whatever she doesn't want to keep, she just kind of sends out into a group chat that we have and is like, hey, anybody who wants these, let me know. I'll send them to you. So she, she just got such a big heart like that and is always sharing love around. Um, so she got me arachnophobia, which I wanted this for the collection, but I actually do have arachnophobia. So I don't know if I will ever actually have the guts to watch it. Uh, Jigsaw, which was the only Saw movie other than Spiral that I was missing. World War Z, which was a glaring omission from my collection. Cloverfield, which is also a glaring omission from my collection. An even bigger glaring omission from my collection is Predator. And finally, Candyman Day of the Dead, which is super cool because uh, it's a Vestron video title. And I, I don't collect a lot of Vestron, but I love the Vestron video. Next up is another birthday gift. I am telling you guys, I am the I am spoiled. I am a fucking spoiled dude because I got the best friends in the world that love movies. And they they see it's my birthday and they're just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get him something off his wish list. I wish that I could afford to buy all of my friends birthday gifts, but I am so freaking lucky to all my friends that, that think about that kind gesture to do that. Um, so my good friend, Monique, Monique's movie madness on TikTok. She will be linked in the, the description. Um, FYI, literally one of the greatest people on this planet. She sent me Christine on 4k, uh, which was a big omission of my carpenter collection. Cause I have a ton of carpenter. I've never seen Christine. And lastly, I think, think of the birthday gifts uh from my good friend and co-host uh, other co-host of masters of matinee judas cinema closet uh judas sent me some pretty sweet and disgusting things uh he hit me up with the cannibal holocaust 88 films blu-ray prisoners of ghostland he sent this to me because he knows that i like nick cage but he knows that i love bill mosley even more and this is super freaking cool Dead Alive, Peter Jackson's Dead Alive on Blu-ray. Uh, I've never seen Dead Alive. This has been out of print. It's kind of hard to find, even on DVD. I think it's a little bit hard to find. Um, so, yeah, Dead Alive on DVD. Freaking sick. I can't wait to watch that. And these next few are not uh, birthday gifts, but they are just in general gifts. Uh, I bought a couple things that we're going to get to from my good friend Paul at Twinflix. He, uh, his TikTok and his YouTube and his Twitter will be linked anywhere you can find Paul will be linked in the description because Paul is such a great guy. I love Paul to death. Uh, will be linked in the description below. Uh, he sent me quite a few things. First off, he sent me the King of New York from arrow video. This is one that I've never seen. And it's a 4k. Uh, he sent me crimes of the future. David Cronenberg's crime of the future, uh, from second sight on 4k. Uh, this is something that I, I watched this movie and I freaking loved it. I, I adored this. I even did a review on this. There's a review of this on my channel. Um, then he sent me it follows from second sight on 4k. This movie I thought was awful. Uh, I'm not going to review it because I don't like the movie. And I was always told if I don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Um, he sent me a woman kills from radiance films on Blu-ray. This is the first radiance film title I've ever owned. Uh, so I've never seen this. I've never checked out Radiance. Uh, so I'm very excited to check this out and I will be doing that soon. And then he sent me Possession on 4K, which I have to blur out because there is a uh, some, some some bare breastuses on this cover. So I'm excited to check that out. I've never seen Possession. I believe that is everything that was that was gifted to me. So now we're going to be getting into the stuff that I bought for myself. For some reason, this is on top uh, should be on the bottom with more of the DVD, but I did get vulgar ordered that from Amazon. Um, this might not, this might've come a few months ago. I don't know why this is here. 
I think this actually came probably back in like July or August. I don't know why I put it up there. Uh, we got we went to Best Buy a few times. A few of these are from Best Buy trips. Got Beetlejuice on 4K. Uh, I was very surprised to find it with the slipcover. Uh, then we got a uh, hit up the Orbit DVD sale uh, back in September when they had the sale for Arrow, Severin, all that. And I was like, I want to try out Severin stuff. So I got Night of the Demon with the slip cover. We got Anthropophagus on the recommendation of Judas Cinema Closet. And we got Absurd, the sequel to Anthropophagus, also on the recommendation. That is grotesque of Judas Cinema Closet. Next up, we picked up Halloween with the slip box. This was the movie that I bought from Cinema Chris when he was like, hey, uh, take these horror DVDs because uh, I had bought the one from my Walmart that just had a slip cover. And uh, he was like, wait, my Walmart has the slip box. I'll get it for you. This was also from Best Buy. Uh, this was a pick from my wife. And then when, she, when we watched it, we actually watched it the other night. I do plan on doing a review of this. Uh, it it's magical. It's something that is now going to hold a special place in my heart forever. That's Scorsese's Hugo, the new arrow video 4k release. I cannot wait to get into this on a review very soon. Um, then we picked up Spider-Man across the spider verse, uh, went to F this is from F Y E. Dawn of the Dead with the slip cover. I know this is 4K. I don't care. Um, and now this is stuff I think from pawn shops and I believe my record store. So picked up The Departed on HD DVD. Still sealed, baby. Uh, we got Chrome Skull Laid to Rest 2. Uh, that was a complete blind buy, but these were like a dollar at a pawn shop. Uh, Cop Out was one of the only movies I'm missing from my Kevin Smith collection, which which I'm still only missing Red State and Zack and Miri, uh, and I will get those eventually. I saw Orbit DVD had some DVD copies of Red State that are foreign but region-free, so I might pick one of those up. Uh, the Dark Tower on Blu-ray. Django Unchained on Blu-ray, even though I feel like this will probably get a 4K steelbook eventually. Due Date, one of my favorite movies with Robert Downey Jr. My only movie that I like was Zach Galifianakis, because I don't like Zach Galifianakis. The Fault in Our Stars, hated this movie in high school, but figure my movie taste to change. Let's see if we like it at this time. Uh, these were a steal. Uh, these had the whole shebang. Um, Frozen and The Little Mermaid, these... 100th year anniversary slip covers. I uh, found these in my pond in one of my pawn shops. They had the pin sets and everything. It was like they were brand new and sealed. Pawn shop wanted $2 for each of them. Uh, I know very well that somebody went to a Walmart, swiped them, and pawned them. I don't care. Um, their Walmart's loss is my game. Screw it. Because uh, the guy even told me that he tried to go to Walmart and they were like, whatever. So. Haunted Hospital, uh, Hell Staten with the slip cover uh, from Wellgo USA. I've heard this is really good. I think it's like in German or something. I think I've seen that playing on like Shutter, maybe Netflix. Uh, Robin Hood, Kevin Costner, um, not Kevin Costner, Russell Crowe. Uh, Lion King with the slip cover and Alice in Wonderland 3D. All right, these next few are DVDs. I'm going to kind of blow through them. Uh, this was from my record store, Slender Man. My wife wanted to get it. I have no interest in seeing Slender Man. This was also from the record store, Shadow People, uh, based on a true phenomenon. I don't really have an interest in seeing that either. Um, this was my pick, though. My record store had a buy one, get one free sale, by the way. So all of these were buy one, get one free. Uh, Godzilla 2000. This was a cool pickup. I've never seen Godzilla 2000. It looks very cheesy from Toho and Columbia TriStar. So very excited to watch that. Night of the Living Dead 3D with Sid Haig. And it's got the 3D glasses with it. That's a steal. I've heard from uh, another YouTuber on here, Planet CHH. He did a whole video on this, that the 3D on this disc is pretty god awful. I don't think this comes with the 2D version, but I'll tell you, I wanted to get the 3D version because back there, I didn't pull it off the shelf, but that's my next pick. 
I got that really nice Nightmare on Elm Street box set, the DVD box set from my pawn shop for 20 bucks. I just did not want to pull it off the shelf because I had no room over here. I'm, I'm dealing with limited space. Uh, but the uh, whatever Nightmare movies in 3D, it's got that in it. And that Nightmare movie did not have 3D glasses. This does. So now I have some 3D glasses to use with that version. But I still like having this. And RIP Sid Haig. Next up, this was actually kind of a steel uh, lichen from MVD. This was a movie that I saw an ad for on uh, the Wrong Reasons Blu-ray. And I was like, ooh, that looks great. I got to see that. So found this in my pawn shop for pretty cheap. So even though it's DVD, I mean, I had it in my wish list on Amazon. It's like 20 bucks on Amazon or $7 at my record store. Um, then I picked up Blade Runner on DVD. And you're asking yourself, JT, Blade Runner has a 4K. Why don't you just get the 4K? I have the 4K, okay? I love Blade Runner. It's one of my favorite sci-fi. It probably is my favorite sci-fi movie. It's it's an incredible movie, but the 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 4K, while it's great and it's beautiful, is the is the 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 final cut, and, and this is the director's cut, and I, it's just a different cut, and I wanted it. It was cheap. Uh, this is also the same copy that my dad has that I grew up watching, and I didn't own this cut. I had only ever owned the final cut, so I, I wanted the final cut. Okay. Uh, lastly, this is the last DVD I think. This is the AEW All In uh, Blu-ray, so it's not DVD. I hate this i might do a review on this but i hate this i hate i there's a lot I'm, i'll just i'll do a review on it and i'll tell you guys why i hate this so much uh, i love the paper all right now we're getting into some really good stuff this is steel books and box sets that i bought this is the last thing i'm going to talk about so let's get through these from walmart we picked up the warrior steel book it was in the seven dollar fifty cents bin i freaking adore this steel book man this thing not really much on the inside art but this steel is so pretty looking. Look at that back. Man, it's a great steel book. Earlier when I was telling you guys that I bought uh, a couple things from my friend Paul at Twin Flicks, and he sent me those gifts, this should really show his generosity. I, I bought Scream and Scream 2 steel books from him because he got the, um, the, the box set that they came out with and sold me the steel books for a damn good price, way cheaper than what they were going on eBay. They are a little bit damaged, like they got some scratches and scuffs on them, but for the price that he gave me on them, man, you can't beat it. And then after I bought those, of course, I had to go out and get the Scream 3 Steelbook. And uh, well, around Halloween, Scream 5 went on sale, and also Scream 6 went on sale for Prime Day. So now I have all the Scream movies on 4K, except for Scream 4. I'm not paying that outrageous price for that German steelbook. Hopefully Lionsgate will release a nice Scream 4 steelbook eventually. But what can you do? Uh, next up, I went to Best Buy, got the School of Rock steelbook. I love this. Uh, I also watched the movie. The, the Blu-ray looks awesome. Uh, it's loaded down with bonus features. This is one of the nicest steelbooks that I think that Paramount has ever released. I love this steel. Uh alongside that uh halloween with the hard box from cinema chris that i bought he also found this in his walmart and i bought this the maximum overdrive vestron video steel which uh, i had been really wanting to get i picked up also the hollywood dreams and nightmares uh documentary robert england story uh about him and freddy krueger and all that stuff uh and then we got one copy of Roland Emmerich's 1998 American masterpiece Godzilla starring Matthew Broderick. Uh, this is my last video that I did. It is, uh, there's a whole review on this. Go check that out. Uh, it'll be after this video and the suggested for you guys. And also from Paramount, we picked up Better Off Dead. Uh, this was also in the Walmart 750 bin, and I really like this steelbook too. Not so much, of, not so much this back art, but it's very shiny and nice and gold, and it's very pretty. And then the last steelbook we picked up, I got this from Fye for a weirdly enough a great price at Fye. We got Aladdin, the Mondo steel. I have never ever owned a Mondo steel. It's the only Mondo steel I I, I have. Uh, it's super nice. I'll go ahead and show you guys this real quick. There's front and back. There's the inside and disc art. Uh, it's a very nice steel book. I think it was $30 at FYE. It goes for about 70. It was brand new. And you might think, why didn't you just flip it? Because I'm not, I'm not scummy like that. I'm not scummy like that. Make me an offer. Make me, no, I'm just kidding. 
Uh, I like having my the, the only Mondo Steel that I have so far. I like it. I, I'm not too crazy about Aladdin, but that's a really cool thing. And my wife does love Aladdin. At least there's that. All right, winding down here. Next up, we have Santa Sangre from uh, Severin. This was also purchased from the Orbit DVD sale where I bought the other Severins that I picked up. However, unfortunately, mine arrived damaged and I didn't realize it until I opened it up. I actually unwrapped it and then I saw the damage. and I was like, shit, and I knew that Orbit wouldn't take it back because there's no way I could prove that it was damaged before I opened it. So I'm stuck with it, but it's whatever. I'm 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 fine. It was on sale. a really deep good sale. I think it was like 28 bucks off of like 50 for this so uh yeah santa sangre i haven't watched this yet i might watch it and do a review i don't know yet uh but shout out to my friend so chill another film talker uh she recommended that uh and she recommended that all of us in our group got it and a few of us did and i've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews uh but i like weird stuff so yeah santa sangre we'll check it out um Next up is a movie that I also did a review on. You guys can go look at that after this video if you want. And that's the Ginger Snaps Trilogy box set from Second Sight. Uh, I like this box set, uh, except for the glossiness of it. It's very fingerprint magnet. Um, but yeah, go check out that review. And then the last box set we got and the last item that we got was again from that Orbit DVD sale. Luckily, this box set was not damaged. We got True Romance, uh, the box set from Arrow Video. I've never seen True Romance. Shout out my good friend Eric Wilkinson, uh, indie producer. You guys on here would probably know him as the MVD guy. He works for the MVD Rewind Collection, doing all that stuff. Uh, I was on TikTok Live with him a few months back, and I had it, I had let it slip that I'd never seen True Romance, even though I love Tarantino, and I know Tarantino wrote this. And he kind of wigged out on me and he was like, you got to watch, you got to watch True Romance. It's like an amazing movie. You got to watch it. He's like, you got to, you got to watch it. And then you got to go live while you're watching it. So I can watch your reaction to watching it. And I'm like, okay. So literally like a week later, Orbit had their sale and, and I picked it up on Eric's recommendation. I haven't got to view it yet because shortly after it came was Spooktober, but it is now November so might be a really good time to dive into some true romance. And that is all I got for you. All of these movies. I don't know what the total is. I don't care what the total is. I might put it up on screen. I might not. Uh, guys, don't take this as like a representation of the amount of movies I get every couple months. I do not hardly ever get this many movies every couple months. This is a exception a wild exception a lot of these were bought super cheap at pawn shops they don't go to pawn shops very often so this was a huge huge haul um but man what a haul it was this is crazy uh if you guys enjoyed watching this leave me a like and a comment let me know if uh every month you'd like me to do some kind of uh of update collection update i wouldn't mind doing that uh it's kind of it was kind of difficult for me to remember everything that I did buy. It's why I think that's how come vulgar, which I bought like three, four months ago, ended up in this stack. Y'all let me know if you want to see more of this. Go check out the um, go check out the review for Ginger Snaps, the review for Roland Emmerich's 1998 American Masterpiece Godzilla starring Matthew Broderick. Go check out Crimes of the Future Review, all that crap. Go, most importantly, go to the description. Go to the TikTok channels and YouTube channels and Twitters of the people that I tagged in these and I put their links in the description, the people that sent me birthday gifts and just in general, because they love me gifts uh, because those people are the kind of people that you're going to want to follow. They make great content. They are some of my best friends in the world. I love them so dearly. I want to just shout it to the moons that you guys should all go follow them. Please, please do that. If you have a TikTok, if you don't have a TikTok, come join us over on TikTok. It is a super fun platform. Uh, we have a huge film talk community. There's more of us every day. It's short form and it's a lot of pickups and a lot of cool stuff showing off and a lot of cool movie discussions over there. Come join us on TikTok. It's where it's at right now. I promise you. And I know TikTok has a, eh, but it's, it's fun. It's really fun. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go try to put all these movies.
back. Wish me luck. I'll see you later.